G'day everyone, Brian here. Just like John. There's an old song by Bill Munro that I used to sing or play uh, that mentions about being just like John. Ready to walk in Jerusalem, just like John. The John here is not John the Baptist, but rather John, one of the disciples of Jesus. The youngest of the disciples, he goes on to write the book of Revelation. In the Gospel of Mark, John doesn't say a lot, and what he says isn't always worth hearing. In this part of the Gospel story, we have just seen the disciples who have been unable to cast out the demon from a boy. They have been arguing about who is the greatest amongst themselves. And Jesus tells them, don't be like that. You know, if you want to be the greatest, be the servant of all. The first will be last. And then John pipes up. And perhaps John is showing his youthful immaturity because he tells Jesus something that Jesus apparently doesn't know yet. Uh, this is what he says. Teacher, we saw a man driving out demons in your name and we told him to stop because he was not one of us. Oh, John, I don't want to be like you when you do that. Jesus says to him very clearly, don't stop him. No one who does a miracle in my name can in the next breath do anything against me. Whoever is not against us is for us. He might not be in our Group. He might not be part of this small gathering, but he is working in my name. Don't stop him. Anyone who gives you a cup of water in my name because you belong to Christ will certainly not lose his reward. Now, why is Jesus saying don't stop him? Well, very clearly, he might not belong with us, with the 12, the 13 of us, but he belongs to me. Jesus says. In Christian circles, we can be quite snobbish. And we can look at other Christian groups, other Christian people and think, they don't belong to us. I would stop them if I could. I wonder if that's what Jesus would say. Or if Jesus would say, don't stop them. Anyone doing a miracle in my name can't in the next breath say anything bad about me. Maybe we should be praying that God would use those people for his glory and pray that they might, or hope that they might be praying for us in the same way. Those who are not against us are for us. Those who are not against Jesus are for Jesus. Not those who are just sitting on the fence with nothing to work out, but are you supporting those who are on the side of Jesus, believing that they are supporting you? Keep your eyes on Jesus. That will be a great help. And have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.